this unfortunately might just be one that's too far gone guys look at that mirror she'll be she'll be fine yeah i don't know if she's gonna go 65 guys uh it leaves you wondering if it's on fire that doesn't sound good i think the engine might be done she's making lots of gurgly noises that's not good what's going on ladies and gentlemen welcome back to auto auction rebuilds where today we're going to try to salvage what little is left of this mercury cougar back here i don't even remember the year of it. it's like a 91 or a 92 or something we won it for i don't even remember 250 dollars something like that. it was ridiculously cheap the catalytic converters are cut off and we found that it has a blown head gasket so there's only one thing left to do and that is try a head gasket repair a sealer block sealer whatever you want to call it i have had phenomenal luck with this in the past this is blue devils pour and go and as the name suggests it really is that simple pour and go do not ever add this to your radiator overflow typical gm stuff if you got one of these don't pour it in there gotta go in here now if you don't have one of these and all you have is one of those it's fairly simple guys you come over here to your upper radiator hose and uh, probably best to do it right here take off your upper hose make sure you drain enough out that you can fit this bottle in and then you would fill this through here but you don't do it until the car is running step one for me is connecting the battery because the lights are stuck on on this car i have to leave the battery disconnected or it dies step two you go into your lavish luxurious uh mercury cougar or ford thunderbird or whatever car you have and you proceed to start it up keep in mind the engine has to be cold before you use this product don't use this on a warm or hot engine next turn the heat all the way to hot turn it on uh, maximum heat so we'll turn that on turn that on high and eventually she'll fire and she'll stay running there we go. All right, looks good. Now, once she starts warming up, she loves to blow smoke out of the exhaust. So now is the time before it gets warm. I like to shake the bottle a little bit, crack it open and dump it in. Now, I don't know how well you can see this, but we have exhaust gases coming out of the radiator that is not good not good at all guys we've got exhaust blowing back through the cooling system look at that nope that's not supposed to happen and boy it's really building too so i just dump this in here start turning into a volcano in there she's not happy the nice thing about this blue devil is that you don't have to flush your cooling system first you don't have to drain your cooling system flush it with water multiple times to use this product you can literally just pour it. Now what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna back the car out a little bit because she should start smoking as she typically does uh, any minute now. Once it warms up, man, it really just starts blow and smoke out of the exhaust. So I'm gonna back the car up so I don't fill my up. Oh, yeah, she's starting to have trouble running. Here we go. The thing is, guys, this car is cheap this car is for the most part uh in my opinion anyway junk your opinion may vary and that's fine but in my opinion this car is a junker i'm gonna pull it completely out of the garage because it's already starting to smell pretty bad there we go park e-brake just let her sit here and run she can smoke up 
the outdoors as much as she wants to. It doesn't bother me at all. So we're gonna let her sit here and run for a little while, guys. We'll check back here in a few minutes because uh, you remember the first video? Uh, she was smoking really, really badly. And hey, who knows? Maybe this will fix it. So while we're waiting on this, I'm going to give you guys a sneak peek of what's to come on Saturday. That's right, this Saturday. Uh, sneak peek here, guys. Yeah. Saturday should be an interesting and entertaining video. I think you guys are really going to enjoy it. On top of that, take a look at all of the boxes of stuff that I have here, guys. I've got so much stuff here um, for Saturday's video. Well, this isn't for Saturday's video, but definitely upcoming videos. We got lots of parts, including a couple very important parts right here. The wiring harnesses passenger side and driver side for Swamp Thing Corvette because these harnesses are completely and utterly destroyed. Oh, there is something all over the engine there, isn't there? Look down there. You probably can't see it, but uh, the wire harnesses and connectors are just junk on these. And uh, we'll be getting into the mechanicals, hopefully in the following Corvette video after Saturday's video on this one. Yes, sir. If you're interested in seeing Swamp Thing, definitely stay tuned because uh, this coming Saturday, she's going to uh, she's going to start coming back to life, guys. And that's all I'm going to show you on that. She's been running for about five minutes now, and I can already see she's beginning to uh, she's beginning to smoke. Now, according to the Blue Devil directions, you're supposed to leave this stuff uh, sitting and running, idling for 50 minutes. That's five zero minutes. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. I told you, after she starts warming up a little bit, she starts smoking like a son of a gun, man. So, uh, I won't let her sit here and run a little more. Come back and check on her here in just a few minutes. So I took the liberty while we're waiting to go ahead and fix those headlights. This comes off with only two screws and a bunch of clips, so no big deal there. And uh, yeah, the, the little nut that holds the headlight assembly in place back there, the headlight switch, uh, had come undone. So we've got that back in, and the temperature is starting to go up, but mainly we got the headlights to go out. So I'm gonna call that a win. Another quick fix. Got the lights off now. As I told you, you know, once, once she gets warm, uh, well, this is what you can expect. So here's what I'm going to do for the next portion of the video. I'm going to leave this camera on a time lapse so that we can run it and you can see exactly how this progresses, whether it gets worse and then better or whether it gets better and then worse or whether it just stays exactly the same. We'll do a little time lapse for you guys and we'll just kind of follow it along and see what happens. I think that is going to be a wrap. Now, does this mean that the product failed? Not exactly. Take a look over there. Oh boy. Yeah, it's uh, it's kind of rough, right? Well, the good news is that we have heat now. We did not have heat before. So the fact that there is actually warm air blowing out of the vents is a good thing. The next thing to take note of is that we are not overheating. Now, one of the things that really bothers me is that we have no heat in the upper radiator hose. This thing's been running for about an hour 
And this upper radiator hose is ice cold. I can put my hand on it and just hold it. Uh, it's ice cold. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to grab my uh, little infrared thermometer here. Hopefully it still works. Yes, it does. Okay. Uh, and we're going to check and see about what temperature the engine's actually running at. But before we do that, I want to give a big shout out and thank you to Super Clean. Guys, they sent me a lot of cleaning products. I've been meaning to shout them out for a while now, but what they don't realize or didn't realize is this is the product I've been using forever anyway. I absolutely swear by their degreasers and uh, I'm using their floor absorbent right now. I've never actually used this specific product before, but I've used a ton of super clean other products, guys, and I absolutely love it. It's affordable, it works, so uh, not sponsored, but they did send that to me for me to give an honest review on, so definitely wanna give a big shout out to super clean. Shout, shout out down in the comment section below if you guys use their products too. I'm sure a lot of you do. Let's uh, let's jump back over here and I'll show you how cold. 70 degrees. The upper radiator hose is 71 degrees. Get back over to the thermostat housing, it's 160. So obviously what's going on is we have combustion that's actually creating air pockets in the system preventing this engine from being able to circulate coolant properly. If you look down at one of the exhaust manifold ports there, just over 400 degrees, 440, 310. That's a lot cooler. So you got 310, 400, See if I can get it on there, right? Four. Let's come over to the other side. I don't think I can see much on the other side because of this uh, air intake and a lot of the emission stuff over here. No, I'm not going to be able to. Okay. Well, huh. It's definitely not what I had hoped for, but you know one of the great things about Blue Devil? They have a money-back guarantee if the product doesn't work. So what we're going to do now is we're gonna shut that Cougar off. I'm gonna let it sit and completely cool down. And we'll come back and we'll try to fire it up again later on and see if she's smoking less, if it's running better, because obviously she's got a misfire or two or three, it's hard to say. This could be a head gasket that is so far gone that Blue Devil can't fix it. Um, I do swear by the product, I've used it many times on many, many engines and I have seen great results and experienced great success with it, but it can't fix every single engine you dump it into. Some of them are just too far gone and actually will require mechanical repair. Hey, if you're wondering about this terrarium in the back here, uh, stay tuned, that's gonna be Saturday's video as well. Let's just say that the Corvette swamp thing from Florida uh, gave us a couple presents in the form of reptiles. Yes, reptiles came out of Swamp Thing and now reside in this terrarium. So uh, yeah, don't miss that. So let's go over here real quick. Let's go ahead and shut her down. Um, she's had plenty of time. Wow, look at that, man. Golly. <laughs> the amount of smoke just kind of rolling out is uh, it's a little bit insane. It's a very smoky situation over here, guys. We're smoking out of the bottom, which is the uh, shady exhaust work that uh, I had to do because there were no cats. It was just chopped off. So I tried to, you know, help the car out a little bit. And then, of course, it hasn't ceased back here either. It's still really, really bad. Now, I've told you guys before, head gaskets on this 3.8 liter are so simple. Uh, it's really not complicated at all, guys. Let's see how the gauges are looking. Pretty decent. And we do have, whoa, boy. Hey, now. Oh, I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Can't breathe. Whoa. That was, uh, that was a little much there, car. Okay, well, the good news is I don't have to disconnect the battery anymore, so. You know, that's nice. It should be able to just start up on her own. 
uh, next time we go to start it. As I said, we're going to let her sit here. We're going to let her cool down uh, probably for a few hours. And then I will come back and uh, we'll see. Well, it's a little bit later now than it was earlier and a whole lot cooler. So I figure this is a... Oh, did we close up? I close up the garage? I don't remember closing up the garage. Boy, it still smell... it smells like... No, I know what it smells like. It smells like swamp. <laughs> That's what it is. Man, that car has... Uh... That car has just got my garage smelling awful, guys. Awful. I think she's going to need a jump. Maybe not. I don't know. Let's find out. Let's find out. I disconnected the battery. Oh, the light. Oh, the lights are on again. That's right. It's been a little while, guys. I totally forgot that I was having uh, issues with that headlight switch again. All right, here we go. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Huh. Oh, wow, look over there. What is going on under here? What is this? Oh, my goodness. This poor car, guys. Wow, where is all of that coming from? Yeah, this unfortunately might just be one that's too far gone, guys. That said, I was really hoping that the Blue Devil would work on this one. Like I said, I've had great success using it on, uh, on other cars. Oh, you can't win them all, right? Look at her, just billowing smoke everywhere. Well, here's what I think. I think we'll put a tag on it. Let's take it for a quick drive. And, uh, you know, who knows? Maybe by the time we get back, uh, a lot of this will have burned off and she'll be running perfectly. Right. Well, guys, you tell me. Does that look like it's getting any better, or... Or... Ooh. Wow. You know, we'll just... We'll just take her up the street. Yeah, just take her up the street. She'll be alright. She'll be fine. Yeah. Look at that mirror. She'll be... She'll be fine. There ain't nothing to worry about. Well, I'll tell you what, guys. The old girl is cruising 45 miles an hour. Overdrive just kicked in. She's not awful. It's not not horrible. Let's take it on a little drive. There we go. 65. Do you think? Oh. Yeah, I don't know if she's going to go 65, guys. I'm willing to give her a shot, though, here. Well, there's there's 55 that's uh <laughs> come on man let's just full sin come on there's 64 that's close enough there's 65 all right 65 that's probably the fastest this car has been in a ooh what is that a dead boar that was a boar Okay, I'm going to make it a little further down this road, and then I'm going to attempt to turn around, because honestly, 
these old Ford slash Mercury's, you can't really see where you're going. Uh, but I know I've got a turnaround spot up here, and I definitely want to turn around. Well, one thing that's for sure is we don't have heat like we did earlier. Uh, we've driven it, I think, three miles now, and there's still no heat. So that's obviously really bad. Let's let's floor it. What happens if we... Oh, that's, that's floored. Oh, wow. Sorry for the shaky video, guys. Well, there's 75. Woo! Okay. What is that noise? Wow. <laughs> Man, this car needs some work, guys. <laughs> this car really, really... Oh, there's all my burnouts from the Corvette before the, uh, before the transmission blew up. Yeah, I, le I left marks on this road, man. This place will forever remember me. All right, let's roll her back into the shop, and uh, let's let's see let's see what she's looking like under the hood now. All right, here we are. I, I actually don't want to pull it into the shop because it might be leaking stuff everywhere. But I think right here is good enough. What do you guys think? All right. Ooh, I see smoke already. Great. Well, climbing out of the car, I'm greeted. I'm greeted with this. So it doesn't look like a. <laughs> it doesn't look like it got any better from the time we left, does it? Oh boy. And and of course. <laughs> oh wow. Uh, it leaves you wondering if it's on fire. I decided to let it sit here and idle a little bit longer while I started uh, putting some of my new, new stuff for the shop together. And as you can see, oh, wow. Uh, ooh. Um, oh. Uh, oh. Yeah, totally forgot about, about that. Okay. We're gonna, ooh. Ooh, that's not good. She died. Like, that's a wrap. Ooh. Uh oh. That doesn't sound good. I think the engine might be done. So I decided to remove the radiator cap since the hose was cold and uh, decided to try putting a little bit of coolant in it. And here is what I was greeted with. Yeah. She's making lots of gurgly noises. That's not good. Yeah. Oh, hey. The radiator hose is hot now. Like I said, cooling system was basically airlocked from exhaust gases. This is probably not going to work in this particular case. But what I will do is disregard the directions and I will let it run with the cap off since obviously with the cap on we cannot get any coolant circulation. I'm going to let it sit here and just idle for, I don't know, an hour or so, and we'll come back and check on it then. Well, it's almost moment of truth time. I figured uh, while it's cooling off, I would build a few things. So I built my little uh, tool slash parts cart. This will be good to have because a lot of times you'll see my tools just kind of thrown all over the floor while I'm working. And uh, I get kind of tired of chasing down all my tools, man. Next, I don't remember if I've showed you guys this or not, but there is my Husky toolbox. It is uh, 72 inches wide. I don't remember how deep. It's got 120 pound drawers. Um, open, of course. You can have up to 120 pounds in each drawer. Although I wouldn't recommend opening all the drawers at once. I think that could potentially be a problem. 
It's got that soft close feature, uh, locks, keys, of course. Uh, a lot of my tools are kind of strung out all over the place right now, but you, know, you can kind of get the idea. I've got all my ratcheting tools here, pliers. Um, I think down here are big tools. These are pretty massive and heavy. Then we've got your long reach wrenches right here. Power tools go down here. Some of them are in use. Hammers. Impact sockets and extensions, along with uh, you know a distributor wrench. Those are always helpful. Screwdrivers. A timing light. That drawer is barely used. We've got my craftsman tools, oil filter wrenches, gloves, vice, sorry, not a vice, a C-clamp, then your half-inch craftsman's electrical stuff, and more electrical stuff. And the bottom drawer isn't used yet. Um, also, I opened all my boxes. I don't know if you saw earlier, there were boxes everywhere here, right? I opened them all, and what we have are the new headlights and corner lights for the Mustang GT. Very happy to have those. Yes, I went back with factory uh, style headlights and corner lights. I love these the best of all of them. I don't care for the LEDs, the, the BMW style uh, halos. I'm not into all that, man. Uh, gasket set for a specific Corvette. Valve cover gaskets also for a specific Corvette. These gaskets right here are for the intake runners and the upper plenum. Um, got those specifically for that. We've got the specialty pre-bent hoses for the uh, throttle body uh, cooling. Those hoses, uh, these are very important and we need them. I've got two idle air control valves. Yeah, two, I wonder why. This is a pulley, the squeaking Mustang GT. We'll be getting a new tensioner pulley to shut it up. And uh, I think last but not least, we got these, man. Um, I'm, I was really excited to get these in today. And uh, my Sunix bar stools, man. So you can just kind of climb up, hop on, and have yourself a seat. They're, they're comfortable. They're adjustable. Yeah, I like them. I do. I don't know where my little gecko is at. He's probably upset with me right now because I got the garage doors open and it's cold out. Now that we got that out of the way, just wanted to give you guys a quick update on all the new stuff. Yes, we have a lift coming from Wildfire Lifts. I do not have an ETA on when it will be here, but I can now officially confirm a sponsorship with Wildfire Lifts. We have a four post coming that will most likely be installed right here. We'll do this on video for you guys so you can see it done. I'll see if I can't get Weird Beard and maybe Austin Carr to come out here and assist. Yeah, a portable, a four post lift that does not have to be drilled into the concrete. It has casters. If you've seen a Musty One or Vice Grip Garage, you've already seen that lift. It's the same one I'm getting. I'm getting that with the casters with the jack to lift cars up while they're on top as well. This is a 12 foot ceiling, so we should have plenty of space for that lift. Also today, I just closed a sponsorship with Magnaflow. Uh, you guys know who Magnaflow is, right? Well, they are sponsoring us a couple of pretty awesome exhaust systems. I think you guys are going to like that. But let's wrap this up because for me, it is after midnight and it is time to see if this car is going to cooperate with us or if it's just, you know, done. Ooh, listen to how good she runs now. Hold on, listen. You guys thought she was dead, didn't you? You thought it was over for her, didn't you? What's up with this? There's no smoke. That's right, guys. It worked. The Blue Devil head gasket repair did its job. It worked. Uh, sometimes... Don't tell Blue Devil I said this, but sometimes you cannot follow the directions. Yes, it is running rough. I need you to keep in mind also, I don't think this car has any oxygen sensors. So she's not gonna necessarily run the best, but I left this thing running for over an hour 
I can go ahead and shut this off now. Now I want to show you something. If you notice, I got the cap off. And sometimes when you have exhaust gases blowing out of the radiator, okay, you have to take the cap off. Now, Blue Devil doesn't tell you this. This is not in any way, shape, or form taken from anything I've ever seen or read on Blue Devil. I've just used it for so long that I can say this with confidence, guys. Um, I took the cap off and I let it run with the cap off. And as soon as I did that, it didn't take long, guys. It didn't take long. The smoke had subsided. You remember before we had smoke just roaring out of this thing. No, and just in case you guys are gonna say, well, Randy, you're lying. It's probably got no coolant in it. Take a look down in there. Right? Okay, so you can see it for yourself. Before it was puff, 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 and it wanted to spit coolant out. Coolant's not spitting anymore, guys. The coolant is circulating just like it's supposed to. Now, as I said earlier, this stuff you leave in it. You don't have to flush it out when you're done. At least I think I said it earlier. If I didn't, I was supposed to. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh boy, you're gonna make me into a liar. No, she's not, guys. She's not gonna make me into a liar. Um, yes, this stuff has worked. Is it perfect yet? Absolutely not, man. Absolutely not. This car has a long way to go, but um, I am very, very happy with the results currently of the Blue Devil product. Um, what I will do, again, not part of the directions, it's just something that I found has worked very well for me, is I will continue cycling this car, letting it run, 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 shut it off, let it cool. And again, and again. I'll probably do this three or four more times. This takes patience, a lot of patience, guys. But when I'm done with it, I do believe that we will be able to get that exhaust leak or those exhaust leaks taken care of. And I think this car will turn around running and driving down the street with no overheating issues and without smoking. So stay tuned. We'll come back at some point with a finale on, uh, on how this car turned out and how the Blue Devil product worked long term. Well guys, I guess that's gonna be about it for the video. We are going to get out of here. Definitely go check out the links in the description, ladies and gentlemen. I got that super clean link for you. Take you straight to the website. You can get some of these products for yourself. And again, not sponsored. I don't get paid anything. I don't get a commission. I don't get nothing, nothing at all. I just use their products. So when they got a hold of me and said, hey, do you wanna try some of our products? I was like, yeah, I'll take free products. <laughs> I already use them anyway. And so, hey, cool deal. Magnaflow coming, wildfire lifts coming. Now, I think the best part of all this right now is my shop is really coming along, man. Having the toolbox, the service cart, the chairs, uh, it's, it's really coming together. That lift, thank you so much to Wildfire. Man, you guys are going to change the game for me. I mean, it's gonna make things so much easier. All I gotta do is get a tire machine and, well, we'll start with it. We'll probably start with a tire machine and a wheel balance machine. If I had those two things, I wouldn't even have to go pay people to do that anymore, wouldn't? that be awesome. Saturday, as I said, we're going to be getting back to a swamp thing over here because it's it's time to try to get uh, to try to get things taken care of. I want to get that one going and then uh, hopefully by next week, hopefully by next weekend, we can get into the mechanicals and hopefully have injectors. I, I mean, I bought everything, guys. Cold start injector, fuel injectors, fuel pressure regulator, spark plug. No, I didn't do spark plugs. Ooh, I, all these things I did, and I forgot spark plugs. Anyway, it's not the spark plugs causing it not to fire at this point. Uh, there are at least two injectors that I have verified for myself are not firing. So I think that once we replace the cold start injector and all eight fuel injectors, yes, there are nine fuel injectors on this car that I, I yeah, I know. Anyway, uh, once we get that squared away, I believe in my heart that this thing is going to run properly down the road. And I am so excited for that because once we get the mechanicals and we get the interior all put in it, uh, Magnaflow is hooking us up with exhaust. So that takes care of that. 
all that really leaves for me to do is send it to paint. Oh, Coastal Auto Reaction too. I don't want to forget those guys. Coastal Auto Reaction on YouTube. Man, if you haven't seen them yet, go check them out. If you guys know who Nick's Garage is, they do the same kind of thing, man. They love their Mopars, really love their Mopars. And he is sending me something for this Corvette that is, it's a pretty big deal because it is literally the finishing touch needed to make this car look like the TV show car that I want it to look like. It will be right. It will have the red interior. It will have the right color and it will have the right decals. So stay tuned, guys. This car is going to be so... You won't recognize it. I promise you, you won't recognize it. We're going to get this thing knocked out. Look, I appreciate all of you for watching. I know that the Mercury Cougar is not the most entertaining car on YouTube, but uh, I think this one is pretty damn entertaining myself. And if that's not enough, we want another car. I'm not going to tell you what it is. It's not a classic, but it is definitely a car from the 90s. Very early 90s compact car and and I got it for $175 so uh says it doesn't run I think it's gonna run I think it's gonna run I'm gonna get out of here guys I gotta edit this video and get to bed because it is Thursday morning and this video has to come out for you guys by 10 a.m so hey I appreciate you guys watching if you enjoyed the content hit the thumbs up button and let me know that you enjoyed the content drop your comments down below you can follow me on social media Facebook and Instagram auto auction rebuilds. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Until next time, hope you guys stay safe out there. I look forward to seeing you all very soon in the next one.